Hello everyone, welcome to CAD Tutorials for Beginners. In this tutorial, we will start 3D modeling in Katia V5. So uh, let us start with the uh, new environment that is part design. So start mechanical design and the part design. So keep the name as it is and click on OK. So uh, here it is a default uh, planar system is available. So we will add uh, the axis system. Let us add axis system here and you can just create a point here. Uh, let's create at 0, 0 position only and then click OK. So we have this axis system created and till that time you can just hide these planes. So we will use this axis system only. So uh, we will start with this sketch based features uh, in the uh, part design environment. So uh, we are going to see uh, the pad command, drafted, filleted pad, multi, multi pad, then there is a pocket, drafted, filleted pocket, there are multiple uh, options available in this sketch based feature. Uh, we'll see one by one. So let us start with the pad command first. Just once, uh, once you click on the pad command, the dialog box opens up for the pad definition. Here you have to select the uh, profile or surface. You have to uh, provide the input as a profile. Uh, you, ca you can provide the closed profile as well as the open profiles. But the open profile will only be suitable for the thick pads. So uh, for open profile, you must have this thick uh, option uh, checked. Also, you have the mirror extent on the both side of the profile. You can you can uh, do the pad with the same command with the same uh, length. The after the first lim uh, limit, you can also provide the uh, second limit if you want to provide the uneven length on both side of the profile. Then you can add the second profile with the different length. Also, similarly, there there is an option available to uh, select the direction. Uh, if you if you want to uh, uh, pad the pad the pro uh, the profile along with the particular direction then you can choose that reference so let's say uh, let's see uh, one by one how to uh, use the pad command so again uh, just select the position sketch and we'll draw on the top plane just reverse this one and click ok so here we'll create uh, one simple rectangle just select the rectangle here make this coincidence with this line only and provide the dimensions use the constraint command to provide the dimension provide the length here let's add 250 and here the width is 100 mm so now uh, you can check here whether the profile is completely uh, closed or not uh, with the sketch analysis option similarly you can uh, check the uh, whether the whether the sketch is constraint or not so uh, just select the sketch solving status and you can see here uh, it is iso constraint also uh, the visual green color shows that the profile is fully constrained and now close this one similarly uh, we'll use uh, the sketch analysis option and here you will find the implicit profile and the status is closed and the comment here is four cows so there are four cows first two three and the la last one that is this is the fourth one so we have no issues uh, with the profile and now we can just exit the workbench so before going to before going to uh, do a sketch a sketch uh, sorry uh, before going to uh, the pad we have to exit the workbench just you click on the exit workbench the sketcher ex workbench will get exit and now you can uh, use these options that is a pad just select the pad option and here you will you will you, you can provide the length for this one so you can select the limit one you can drag it manually as well and again limit two you can just uh, drag and drag and drop so here we will provide uh, 50 mm or keep just uh, 25 mm and you can preview after it so it is going to create a 25 mm length on one side and if you click on the more option you will find uh, that there is a second limit too that is of 28 mm so you can see here the dimension is here that is 28 mm on the downside and 25 mm on the upper side of the sketch 
if you want to add a mirror extent then you can just select the mirror extent option and you can see the second limit gets blurred and now uh, the both the lengths are 25 mm only because of this option and if you preview it you can see here the pad is created just click on ok to view this object so if you want to edit the uh, pad definition you can just go to the tree and double click on the pad to edit edit this or also you can just right click on the pad option you can go to the pad dot one object and then go to the definition so you can just change the pa pad parameters again click on the more and here there are options available multiple options available that is up to next up to last up to plane and up to surface that we will see uh, in this lecture only so before that we'll create uh, some more profiles here to understand that two or three options so let us create the sketch on this top plane top face and here again i will create one rectangle similarly i will create one more rectangle over here and just just make this sketch and uh, this edge coincidence similarly select this edge and this edge coincidence and here as well you can just select that just make it coincidence and now you can provide the length of this two let's add 20 and this one also will add 20 and here last one i will make it to coincidence so now this is again fully constrained similarly for this one we will provide the dimension from this axis let's add 45 so now again if you if you check this one uh, then you can see implicit profiles are available and both are closed also uh, if you try to see uh, the sketch solving status then you can see here the both are the iso constraint so now again exit the workbench and just make a pad of this you can you can create two pads at a time as well or you can create the multiple pads but you you should have these sketches in two different sketches so now i will create only once So again uh, now we will just create uh, one sketch here and we will uh, try to pad it so just change this to let's say 50 mm sketch on this face here and click on ok so now you can use uh, this fit, op fit all in option to get your sketch at a proper location and this normal view option to align this to normal view so yes here i will uh, select one simple circle just provide the dimension let's say 30 and here again i will provide from this age 70 and here i will add 50 and just exit this one so now if you if you want to uh, pad this one just select the pad here and here you can reverse the direction as you want and here we will select the up to next option so once you select the up to next option it will select the next face of that profile if you preview it you can see here the pad is created on with only till that face if you double click it you can again select up to last then up, if you select up to last it will select up to last face just cl click ok so in this way the last face is selected again uh, if you try to change it to plane uh, or surface we will uh, 
<coughs> see the uh, plane in, in next time and again uh, now we will uh, see this surface so again surface is the same you just need to ch select the uh, face here and click on ok so if you try to see uh, this is this is still this face now we will create one plane here just i will check that plane uh, toolbar is available or not here reference element you can see here the plane just select the plane and select the face and we'll create one plane offset from this plane or you can just drag and drop and click on ok now you can see the plane is created and uh, now again i will use the Now if you want to use uh, this plane and with the same sketch then we can have uh, one more option I will just delete this one or just delete this and you can have this option uh, that you can you can just make this option activated by double clicking on it and you can see uh, just define the work object and you can see this is getting hided and you can add the plane over here so just select the plane select the face and click on ok and now you can just activate this this pad here and now you can select this pad and here instead of surface you can select the plane just select the plane and you can see uh, the pad is getting till that plane so in this way you can use uh, the add options in Katia v5 so one more option is there available there that is the direction you can select the direction as per your requirement so if you see on the more options you can see here the direction you can provide the multiple directions different direction so I will again just delete this one so th this is, these are only for the demonstration purpose just delete this delete this complete sketches and I will just go to the ISO mode and now uh, we will create one simple pad here again with, a, with changing the direction so uh, again I will create one rectangle just select the center rectangle here and exit this workbench click on the pad and click ok so uh, now sketch on the top face now we will create a circle here just select the circle and just exit this one and now we uh, will select the pad and first we will create a simple pad here with a normal to profile if you double click it and if you can check the direction it is normal to the profile now we will create one more circle here just select a circle and here we will also create the same circle and now we will just make one another profile on this face just click on ok and here create one line here just create one line just exit the workbench and now use the pad command select the profile and now instead of this normal to profile just uncheck this one and select the reference this line so you can see uh, your pad is getting aligned with that profile and if you preview it you can see uh, that pad is created in an incline mode so in this way you can uh, create this pad with an incline option if you double click on it go to the more and uh, now here if you want to add the thick profile just you can uh, select the three thick option here and you can change the thickness here thickness one and thickness two and if you preview it you can see uh, the thick pad is created that is a hollow one so 
so with a with a closed profile uh, we can have uh, the hollow cylinders as well as the solid cylinder but with the open uh, sketches we can only uh, have uh, the thick parts that is the hollow parts so i will again uh, save this one just save this as say part 2 and here again uh, i will delete this will delete this complete and now uh, here as well we will create again actually we have deleted that axis system too just create one axis system make it to iso and here we will create one open profile here let's select the top plane again and here just create one open profile just select this one and exit the workbench actually we will make this as open just delete this face and select the line and exit this one now if you try to select the pad here it will first select the first shows the error but you can have this option as thick and you can provide the thickness let's say 2 mm and you can preview it so in this way you can create a thick pad similarly uh, we will just create one arc here let's select the arc and you can create an arc as well you can see here the pad is created with this arc similarly uh, we will we'll see uh, the pocket definition in the in the next tutorial so thank you very much for watching please do like and subscribe our channel for more videos also you can add your queries uh, questions in the comment box below